Hello, everyone. This is Reverend Jerry Hobby with Spiritual Enlightenment and Truth Focus Ministry. And today I'm here with Kiyomi. And we have something very exciting to share with you. Next Saturday, we're going to start our program, Science and Spiritual Practice. And the first one is entitled Science and Spiritual Practice Jigong. And I don't know if you guys know anything about me, but Jigong is one of my favorite spiritual practices. It's in my top 12. And I'll tell you why it's in my top 12. Five years ago, I had a traumatic experience and it created a lot of stress, a lot of fear. I had no idea what was going to happen next in my life. And I decided that I needed to unblock these energies. And as a result of that, I scheduled an appointment with Kiyomi and we started doing private sessions of Jigong because I was filled with pain uh, for about two years. And I'm going to say that that was the saving grace in my life. And it is part of why I'm here with you today. I had learned how to take a spiritual tool and use it for my highest and greatest good. Kiyomi, tell us a little about Qigong. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kiyomi. Um, I'm a certified Qigong teacher. I've been certified since 2012, but I've actually started practicing around 2003. So I've been doing it for a long time. And throughout this process of this journey with Qigong, I've learned that it's very powerful for you. It worked on multiple levels, right? Um, for me, it, it worked on physical levels and as well as emotional support and mental support and even spiritual. And what's great about this practice is it's adaptogenic. So um, if you need some energy, you could get it. If you need some more relaxation, you can get it. And for those of you that are not familiar with what Qigong is, Qigong is uh, like a moving meditation. And you've probably seen people in the park where they're like moving slow, right? You probably, most people have seen that, at least either on TV or movies. Um, so that's usually when people are practicing in the park like that, it's usually Tai Chi. And the Tai Chi, from what I understand, is a form of Qigong. Qigong is, um, can offer multiple kind of modalities. And what I usually teach is the moving kind and also meditation. So wherever the mind goes, uh, the chi flows. That's a mm -hmm. very common thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I could go on and on and talk about it, but I could also give a quick demonstration so people can understand what chi I think that would be wonderful. Okay. So chi um, means energy and qigong means practicing with energy. So what we can do is we can quickly stimulate energy and feel it. So if you want to join with me, Rev, you're welcome to. Okay. <laughs> so let's, um, everybody, if you want to try this, uh, let's clap our hands and rub them fast. So we want hot hands. Um, I like to tell my students, I would like to. I would like you to get pre-blister hot. <laughs> we don't want blisters, but we want them just before, maybe a phase before that. Okay, are they warm yet? They're warm. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and relax, separate our hands, and then imagine that we're holding an energy ball. And I invite you to relax your thumbs. You know, we don't want them sticking up, just relax. And then space between fingers. Just relax the hands. and. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling energy already. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like a tingling. Everyone can feel it in a different manner. So let's take it a step forward. Let's breathe in and separate our, our hands. So it's, let's <laughs> imagine that we are stretching our chi ball, making it wider. And then when we exhale, we're going to push in on our ball, making it smaller. Still relaxed hands. Breathe in. and out. Inhaling. And exhale. Good, let's do one more. And go, yeah, 
There you go. And if you want to, you could like place your hands together in prayer position just so that the chi can go towards your heart. <laughs> um, now I want to show just a quick demonstration of one of the one of the six healing sounds. And I usually teach this in my classes, especially for first timers, because it's a really fun, easy, and a quick way to transform your, um, we can say for, we can call them negative emotions. <laughs> I hate to use that term, but um, just for the sake of explanation, a lot of um, emotions that come up from traumas, uh, a lot of us don't know what to do with that emotion and that emotion can stay in our body and then it builds up over time, kind of like energetic plaque. So a really quick and easy way is practicing the six healing sounds. And I know uh, lately a lot of people are worried, you know, they're uncertain of their future or even what's going to happen the next day. Uh, so a really simple one we could do right now is for worry. So worry is connected to our stomach and our spleen, which is approximately below our left chest. So if you mirror me, so it's your left side. So if you're mirroring me, I'm on this side here. Okay. So place both hands over your stomach and spleen, which is below the left chest around there. And we can breathe in yellow light into our stomach and spleen. Then when we exhale, we're going to breathe out the sound who. Who. Good. Let's breathe in lemon yellow light into our stomach and spleen. Breathe out who. Who. One more. Let's inhale sunflower yellow light into stomach and spleen. And release who. Who. Good. And then you can gently relax your hands. That one always tends to relax me. So I hope you feel some kind of shift right there. <laughs> yes. How do you feel? Actually, I feel really good. And um, I think you intuitively knew exactly what I needed. I'm okay. just going to say. I've noticed and um, I have been paying attention to my body. And the reason I pay attention to my body is I'm watching where I'm at emotionally. And that's a very important part in terms of moving through COVID-19 right now. Yes. And um, the movement in those areas are important also. This is in addition to everything our doctors are telling us to do in terms of our care and our self-care. But there is a thing, too, that we get to remember we also get to contribute to our healing and we can heal ourselves too from the inside out. I think it is all important during this time period. You know, I love Bruce Lipton and this is what Bruce Lipton has to say. He says modern science is predicated on truths verified through accurate observations and measurements of physical world phenomena. He goes on to say the new physics provides a modern version of ancient spirituality. And when I think about Qigong, Qigong is an ancient spiritual practice yeah. in a universe made out of energy. Everything is entangled. Everything is one. So here's a wonderful opportunity for us to bring the wisdom of science and spiritual practice together. So we're going to invite you to join us this coming Saturday. That's a week from now on May 23rd at 11 o'clock. And we're going to spend 30 minutes working with science and spirituality, Qigong style. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a great time, aren't we? Yes. I'm going to make it as fun and as easy as possible. So if it's your first time, no worries. You know, I'm going to make it as clear. And like I said, as fun as we can. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So for those people that may be as mobile, will they be able to participate also? Yes. Um, typically, when we practice Qigong, it, most practitioners will stand. Um, but 
You also have the option to sit. And I'll describe what to do in that case. So if you need your chair, just make sure you have your chair there. <laughs>